Hello everyone, I am Dr. Larry Van Such for athleticquickness.com and you're watching speed training session number two, the ultimate running speed equation. Before I begin, I wanna say if you haven't already watched session number one, then I highly recommend you go ahead and do that now before watching this one. Because even though I'm going to provide a quick review of it here in a minute, watching that first session in its entirety will help place not only this one into its proper context, but also the ones to follow. So again, I highly recommend watching it and you can access the link to it in the description below. Now, if you have already seen it, then great, welcome back. Let me just say that while I thoroughly enjoy making these training videos, I'm really very excited to make this particular one. And the reason why is because after speaking with a number of people throughout the years about the glutes and hams, quads and calves and their role in the running process, I have come to the realization that while many had a general understanding of what these muscles did, which was to generate a pushing force on the body forward in this direction, no one, and I repeat, no one, was even remotely aware of another component to this force, which was a rotational one, or torque, around the athlete's midline in this direction. And because they had no idea this rotational component even existed, they never considered the possibility that others might exist as well. Others desperately needed in different parts of the body to keep both sides of it in perfect balance while running. So they ended up with this misconception that in order to get faster, all they had to do was work on the obvious, which to them was just a muscle supplying a simple straight line pushing force through the hip joint. While the not so obvious, but equally important muscles producing rotation and counter rotation in the rest of the body were simply ignored. And while this tunnel vision approach to running faster worked for some of these people some of the time, it was always met with a certain level of frustration for each and every one of them because it failed to address the needs of the entire body. And so my guess is that you may be stuck in a similar place as those I've previously worked with, exercising the same muscles over and over again and expecting a different result. There's a word for this type of behavior. And I'm also guessing that you are as unfamiliar with this concept of torque production in the body as they were and how it is needed to run your very best. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to introduce to you this concept of torque in a very big way because not only is it the single most important factor in determining who runs fast and who doesn't, but it's also the key to breaking you free from the mindset that all you need to do to get quicker is increase the strength in the leg pushing against the ground. So the first thing I'm going to do regarding torque is show you how the glutes and hams, quads and calves produce their own rotational force. And I'm going to show it to you from two different perspectives so you can begin to see and understand it more clearly. Then I'm gonna show you how four other areas in the body produce their own similar torque at the exact same time the glutes and hams, quads and calves are producing theirs. And when I'm finished, I'm going to assemble them all into something I call the ultimate running speed equation. This is an equation that shows how the entire body uses these five rotational forces to create the perfect balance necessary for us to move as fast and efficient as humanly possible. And finally, what I think is the really cool part of this entire video is I'm going to show you how to instantly identify this ultimate running speed equation. This equation of perfect balance in action on some of the best 100 meter sprinters and middle distance runners in the United States so that you can get used to seeing and believing just how important and powerful these torques really are. By the time we are finished, you will have become an ultimate running speed equation expert yourself. One who understands that running fast is all about achieving perfect balance in the body and one who is now more ready than ever to take their game to the next level. And this is why I'm really very excited to make this video. So let's do that quick review of session number one, like I said it would at the beginning, and then immediately afterward, we'll get this session started. All right, that's going to do it for this video. You can access the link to the next part in this series, as well as all 12 parts in the description below. Now, before I go, I want to say that if you liked my video, then please click the like button. Feel free to share it wherever you want and leave me a question or comment as I'll be sure to get to it as soon as possible. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and follow Athletic Quickness on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter 
to stay up to date on all of our speed training tips, articles, and exercises. Okay, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.